seems like forever, I think, all night. And what are you doing in here? I was coming to get the dog food. Well, can you move? Oh, are you, are you oh, hurt? Get up. It hurts. My arm, my side, my leg. Oh, okay, okay, look. I'm calling 911. Oh, oh. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh. Yes, hello. Oh, hurry. It's my mother. Hurry. She's on the floor. She's hurt. Oh. 101 East Main oh, Street. Oh, hurry. Okay, please, hurry. Hurry, it hurts. Man 9, priority 2, 65-year-old female, fallen at home, unknown medical conditions at 101 East Main Street. Confirm. Control, demand 9, responding to 101 East Main Street. Check, elderly female with possible broken arm will be transporting to the hospital, unknown ETA. The home is cluttered and we're having difficulty getting the gurney in. Confirm, we'll notify hospital of your delay. Over. Confirm, over and out. It's bad. Does it hurt? Yeah. Well, Miss Patterson, I'm David Mack. I'm the clinical social worker. How are you doing today? Well, I've been better, but I guess I'm okay. But I am ready to get out of here. Well, according to your chart, it looks like you will be discharged in a few days. Your doctor is strongly recommending that you go to a rehabilitation hospital to make that arm completely strong and well. Oh no, I can't go to any rehabilitation. I need to get home to my animals. Plus, I don't like sleeping in somebody else's bed. I'm an animal lover myself, but we could have a physical therapist come into your home and give you rehabilitation two or three times a week. Oh no, nope. no strangers are coming in my home. No, look, she'll be fine. I can take care of whatever she needs. Even with the best of intentions, you can't provide the advanced level of care that your mother needs. Look, I've been taking care of her all this time, and she's been just fine. Well, according to your mother's chart, EMS said the house is cluttered. No offense to either one of you. Your mom was alone when she fell and was brought into the emergency room in poor condition. Uh, bless her heart, uh, she had poor hygiene. Look, I'm doing the best that I can, okay? It's really hard to take care of her. I come home from work and I have to bathe her, I have to cook for her, and then I have to clean the house. I don't have anyone else to help me. Okay, okay, I understand how stressful this is for you. At the same time, your mother has some critical appointments that you need to get her to. Um, I'm going to go get a list of those appointments. I've got a couple of forms I need for both of you to sign. Uh, one is I've discussed the discharge plan with you. And the other is a list of those very important appointments. I'm going to go to my office and get both forms. I'll be right back. Let's get out of here. Yeah, come on, let's get you home. Hey, Dave. How did it go with Mrs. Patterson? Hi, Christine. Unfortunately, Miss Patterson's daughter signed her out of the hospital against medical advice. I really don't feel good about her going home. Um, according to her chart, she came into the emergency room, uh, looked dehydrated. She looked like she hadn't had a bath in quite some time and smelled like urine. The EMT also reported a lot of clutter and a strong smell of urine in the home. They had to clear a path just to get out of the house. Well, what does her daughter say about this? The daughter claims that they're doing the best they can. Um, she said that she'd give her mother basically good care, but I don't think that's true at all. Um, the daughter said that she's having a, a hard time, that she seems under a lot of stress. I'd like to file an APS report uh, because I think that they need additional support, and uh, I really think that APS could help in this instance. I think you're right, and it's not an emergency, so you could file the report online, and that may save you some time. I've never filed a report online. By any chance, do you know the website? Sure. It's www.txabusehotline.org. Thanks, Christine. Sure. Can I help you with anything else? No, that'll do it. Okay, but great. Appreciate great. it. Sure. See you later. Later.